Okay, folks, if you wonder what the face of the devil looks like, little bit of cheerful news out of Miami Beach. Man uh, decides to delete somebody with his family in Miami Beach and then dance over the body because there are no consequences in peak Weimar America. And, you know, you see the image. It's like, gee, do you need to put the left and the right? Because, you know, we know how to math. That's all I'm saying. So a guy was out having a lovely time with his uh, family where Tamarius Davis decides to roll on up there and just uh, start firing. Uh, the last thing the tourist Wakefield was able to do was protect his one-year-old son before he was shot, uh, departed from this mortal coil by Davis. The guy came in with a liberty advice, waving his saying, it's time to go. He pointed the, at his son and Dustin said, he's only a kid. His uncle was there, and he told the reporters. Dustin stood up between the gunman and the baby, and then he shot him. He shot him multiple times on the ground. Because he could. Because there are no consequences. Is BLM going to riot for this? Somehow, I doubt it. He told police he was high on mushrooms, which made him feel empowered. Um... Mushrooms don't do that to you. Sociopathy does that to you. Low impulse control does that to you. Low IQ combined with low impulse control makes this kind of stuff possible. A witness said Davis was smiling and laughing as he shot the 22-year-old in front of his child. Video of Davis dancing over the body after he shot him multiple times. How many... Okay, here's the thing that really should get your attention. It got 44 comments, which means in terms of social media impressions, times you in, amount of people that interact with it, that's infinitesimally small. It's invisible. The story's invisible on social media because the, the Twitter, the algorithm, is suppressing it, and YouTube will suppress it too. But to get 44 comments and 72 clicks is... A completely invisible story. I'm not saying just turn the story around, you know, turn the races around. If it was a, a white and black instead of black and white, um, it would be, of course, <laughs> LeBron, Laquifa James, Laquifa James. They be out here killing us every day. Really, LeBron James? Because you know it's not true. I mean, otherwise, you're developmentally disabled, which might be the case with LeBron James. Or he's been lied to his whole life. And so there's this cognitive dissonance going on between what, you know, FBI crime stat table 43 says and, um, like, what the news actually says once you get beyond the front pages and, and actually look it up. Like, every time they don't show you who's behind it, it's like, oh, well, you know who did it if they don't show you who did it. And if they, if it's a white face, it's like, oh, okay, well, this is, like, the one out of 100 times. You know what I'm saying? Um, so... If they treated this equally as just any other story, this thing would have 44,000 comments. It has 44. So Tamarius Davis was charged second degree and attempted, blah, 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 survived by his wife and one-year-old son. Set up a GoFundMe, and this is 20, the family who was deleted by a two-legged human vermin. Is it time to talk about perhaps a amicable separation, just a peaceful separation of the countries or cities at least, um, where you could go to an outdoor restaurant and the thought of having someone roll up and shoot you, it's just not you're not even on the radar. It's not even a, th a threat. It just doesn't even click with you. That's only possible with the separation. It's just possible. It's just possible. It's like guys, you can have anything you want you really want it bad enough i don't know if this is gonna fly for youtube anyway like comment subscribe check me out on odyssey and bit shoot i'll see you guys all next episode